mercy of the law. Let me know, guys, when you see me live here. Uh, it shows here that I'm coming online. Hey, I think we're going to do it this time. I feel like it's going to happen. It just said yes. And now it's saying green. And uh, I think we'll do it on here. Yeah, yeah, it's starting to come on. Yes, it's going to happen. It was trying. There we go. We're going to make this happen. Um. We're going to find out. Guys, we're sorry, but we're, we're doing everything we can. We're working off a hot spot now, okay? We're going to work off a hot spot. There's not enough bandwidth here at the hotel. In Britain, there's been a, a, a tram train, right, Heidi? It derailed in Britain. Do we, do we know how many are hurt? Or, or 50 injured? Any killed? So we've there's been a, there's been an, a uh, we're at in Britain was it London here we go okay okay anyway hey guys how we doing YouTube sorry that we couldn't do YouTube and live stream at the same time we can't even do blog talk okay now I'm I'm only gonna be at this hotel tonight and then tomorrow night then we're going to Jerusalem we may go to Jerusalem and have a lot better stronger internet access it, it just can't never tell. You know, when you're in another country, I know the Sephardic house is awesome. Okay, all I can say, they had they had great internet. So I'll, I guess I'll be there next June, but or July or May or whenever it is. But here's what I want to say, guys. Uh, we're going to the Wailing. We're going to the Wailing. Excuse me, the Western Wall. I keep saying Wailing. That's an old term. Western Wall. We're going to the Western Wall uh, on Monday. Okay, on Monday, if you would like for us, if you would like to send a prayer request in, there's two ways to do it. Number one, you're given it, if you're given an offering tonight or tomorrow, up until Sunday night, of course, Sunday Night Live, if you're given an offering, you want to put it in the notation, do that. And, and tell us what it is you'd like for us to pray about at the Western Wall. Uh, another way to do it is if you want to send an email, you know, uh, to converts. 2016 at gmail.com okay that's converts.2016 at gmail.com and uh, Dr. Rosa will help us there she'll gather those uh, so we will go to the western wall on Monday now here's what's unbelievable about this thing is there's no way that the people first of all we don't know when the tour was going to be the tour happens to be the week we're in right now, okay? We had no idea that the harvest moon was going to be the same week of the tour. It is. And it's not just any harvest moon. It's a super harvest moon, super duper. It's the biggest one since 1948. And it is visible from Jerusalem. Are you serious? And get this. What happened in 1948? Anybody got a clue? That's right. Israel became a nation. All right. So it's the biggest moon since Israel became a nation. How prophetic is this? And today, we know the Temple Institute's already got blueprints to build the, the third temple. We know that uh, Yehuda Glick and other Orthodox rabbis are pushing so hard. They've met with imams in Turkey and they've met with, and even Glick is now in the Knesset. And we know that Benjamin Netanyahu. Four years ago, brought the blueprints out and said, here's the blueprints. And guess what? Those blueprints was a modified temple that Solomon had, a little smaller, but no outer court, which is what it says in Revelation chapter 11, that there would be no outer court, for that's for the Gentiles. And we know that Glick and the Israeli government found this $10 billion worth of pure, uh, a vein of pure gold in Mount Elat which the Bible says that the, the gold in the land is good. I mean, there are just too many things. And now we've had the Trump uh, election, 
So what happens? The Sanhedrins, who just a few weeks, a few months ago, just for the first time in 2,000 years, selected a high priest for the third temple. Now, as the evangelical Christians, Messianic Christians, we all know, we don't need a temple. We don't need to rebuild it again. Our body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. You all know that, that are uh, born-again Christians, whether you be Jew or Gentile. But what you, we also know is Bible prophecy says it's going to be done. It will be built. And Jesus even said, when you're looking at the end times in Matthew 24, that uh, one of those signs in verse 15 is, is uh, when you see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet stand in the holy place, whosoever readeth, let him understand. In other words, this is going to be a significant time. The Antichrist, at some point, it won't be on the dedication day of the third temple. It won't be right away. There will be a period of time, but some time in that, there will be the Antichrist proclaiming himself to be God. This is an abomination, and it's exactly what Daniel saw, what Jesus warned us of, what Paul explained to us in 2 Thessalonians 2, and what John revealed in the apocalypse there in the book of Revelation. So we are coming so close to this now, politically. So with the Sanhedrin asking Donald Trump, President-elect Donald Trump, and President Vladimir Putin to help them to build the temple, in other words, not financially, not physically, the Jews will do that. They've got it. But politically, to try to hold back the forces that might try to prevent it from happening. We are living in very prophetic times. So, this is the fig tree generation. 68 years Israel's been a nation. And it's been 68 years since the super harvest moon has been over Jerusalem. And it's going to happen this Monday night. So Monday, what's the odds that the that the, the tour group would select Monday to be the day we go to the Western Wall to pray? And we want to bring your prayer request to that wall and pray and bring it before the Lord. And the last time we did it, Heidi, as you know, miracles, I mean, just kept coming in. Right. So we we're putting this out to you now. Uh, you know, when we, uh, it was during Pentecost too, you know, we had the Feast of Pentecost. It was just unbelievable. So God is, sometimes I tell you, I can just say in my lifetime, ever so often in my life in ministry, God has a prophetic time. And, he, and when he sets up a prophetic time, it's always unbelievable. And that's been set again. It's coming up. And I want you to be able to say, wow, I got in that. I got my request in. And I want I want you guys to bring it to the Lord for me. All right? And we'll have some filming going on. Uh, tomorrow we'll be baptizing people in the Jordan River. We're going to be doing some filming of that. Try to get those up for you so you can see some of that. It's going to be a wonderful time here in Israel. All right? Praise God. So we do have, a, we have some kind of a uh, tram accident in London. Or, or somewhere in the UK, and I don't know if it's in London or where, but at least 50 people injured. There may be more. Um, we know that there's at least 25 cities organized protest against Donald Trump is going on. This has got to be George Soros funded. This is chaos. Who is the king of chaos? Who's the author of confusion? This is this doesn't take hard for me to figure out who's behind this move. Especially when you have Donald Trump saying, look, I want to move the embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. He, his words, because Jerusalem is the capital city of Israel. Do you think the UN wants to hear those words? Trump is not only going to shake up Washington, he's going to shake up the United Nations, which ultimately is going to shake up the world. We're getting ready to see. Uh, of The Brexit of London and the Brexit of America is happening in the same time. God is prophetically setting things up for such a time as this. That's why you want to be saved. You want to be ready. You want to you want to get ready because time's running out. So get your prayer request in. You're sending in an offering today, tomorrow. Hurry. Don't wait till Sunday night live. Hurry. Today, tomorrow, get them in or 
if, if you're uh, wanting to put a prayer request in, not with an offering, but just want to do it on the side over here, please, Dr. Rosen will help as well. You can send that email to converts.2016 at gmail.com. All right? Praise God. Oh, it's better to say. Yeah, I, I knew that was. I knew that we talked about that earlier today. And you know, uh, all three of our sons serve in the military, and a daughter-in-law. Right now, our youngest son is in the Navy, and our daughter-in-law is also in the Navy. And I want to say, let's remember our veterans. Andy Fire Chargers here. He's a he's a veteran, and many others. And all of you that are watching that are veterans here in the United States, thank you. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for standing on the front lines for freedom. Okay? This country, the world, needs America to be free so that the freedom for the people to live in, in victory, and live without oppression. Do we want to be under ISIS? Do we want to be under Sharia law? Do we want Sharia law in our court system, a Sharia law court system in conjunction with our current who ever heard of such thing? But, you know, I was talking to some, that one lady who's here. Her whole family's here from, from England with us. They already have Sharia courts in England. Do you think we want that? So uh, we need to pray. Thank you for our veterans. Thank you for our every one of you that are in uniform, men and women in uniform. Thank you for your service. God bless you. Thank you. And keep working together, all right? Let's keep doing it. All right, guys. I got to let you go. I'm working off a hot spot here. I'll be back. Uh, Lord willing, I'm doing the Pakistan um, Pakistan thing tomorrow. Uh, it's it's going to be awesome. It's at 530 Eastern. I'll be on Skype. And I will also try to be on live stream at the same time. I think I can. I doubt I can be in all three of these things. But I'm going to try to be on Skype and live stream tomorrow at 5 30 eastern right is that right and and we're doing there's about 400 people according to a team are going to be jammed into a room with a projector on the wall and i'll be preaching they'll be using interpreters and i'll be preaching to them and giving an altar call and that's going to be tomorrow around 5 30 could be a little late with that so just hang around it might be a quarter to six you know how things are but just know that approximately 5 30 p.m all right God bless all of you on YouTube. Appreciate it. We love you. Are you serious? But shalom. Give your life to you. Are you serious, Jacob?